In this video, I want to introduce uh, inequalities into the mix of drawing the loci of these circles. And so in each of these questions, we've got to shade the region given by each of these inequalities. OK, so the first things first, um, if you've got a strict inequality, which I mean by a less than or a greater than, so in, options, in uh, questions one and three, OK, then we're going to use a dotted line to represent the circle in those cases. Uh, for questions two and four, because we've got less than or equal to or greater than or equal to, and so you can actually be on the edge of your circle, on the circumference, we're going to use a solid line for that. OK? So, uh, this number one then. So we've got the real axis and the imaginary axis. So first of all, identify its centre. So that because you're taking away one takeaway i, it's going to be centred at one takeaway i. So one takeaway i, so there. So one minus one. And we've got the radius is going to be one. OK, so that means that we've got our circle doing something like that. OK, so that would be our circle. And because we're doing less than one, OK, that means you want the interior of the circle to be shaded. So that would be the region that you want to consider. OK? Right. Let's have a look at the next one. So real and imaginary. Uh, so this time we've got z plus 2 take away i, which means that it's going to have to be centred at minus 2 plus i. So minus 2 plus i Something like this. OK. And it's got a radius of 2. And it's less than or equal to 2, so it's a solid line. OK. So that means that it's going through this point. It'll have the imaginary axis as a tangent. OK. Something like that. OK, so its uh, highest point there uh, would be at 3, 2 above the 1, and that would be minus 1. I mean, that's why my, my circle's not... <laughs> it's too bottom heavy, isn't it? OK, um, that'll do. So that's uh, my circle, less than or equal to 2, so you're inside the circle, so you want to shade the interior OK, and so that's example number two. Right, number three. Uh, we've got z plus 4 plus 2i. So that means it's going to be centred at minus 4 minus 2i. So minus 4, minus 2i. So something like this. That's minus 4. That's minus 2. It's got a radius of 4. OK. So, and because it's greater than, we're using a dotted line. Dotted curve. OK. Thing I'm particularly happy with how that looks like. It's way too much like an ellipse. Um, certainly didn't go high enough. Once again, as I said in the previous video, I mean, if you're if you're not happy with how your curves are coming out, you could always use a compass, OK? 
pair of compasses. Right. So there's my circle. Uh, it's got its lowest point down here. Um, so it's got a radius of 4, isn't it? So that's minus 6. And that would be at 2. OK. Um, now, because you want greater than 4, that means you want to shade the outside of the circle. So all of this, anything that is outside the circle will get shaded. OK, so that's example number three. And lastly, number four. So we've got it centred at 5 plus 3i. So 5 along, 3 up, so something like that. Let's just make it a little bit closer. Like that. OK. Right, uh, greater than equal to 2, so it's a solid line. So we've got root 34. So um, what have we got there? So the length of this uh, complex number is a square root of 5 squared plus 3 squared, 25 plus 9, so 34. So that's root 34. So that means that it goes through the origin. OK, so... Oops. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> I already know it's going to look potato-shaped. Um, OK. Already not too happy with how this is going to work out. I've never said that this is easy. I think it's particularly difficult when you're on board. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Maybe it should just be a whole video of me just uh, drawing rubbish circles. Just mould this uh, lump of clay <laughs> into as best a circle as I can get. I don't know if that really helped that last bit. Right. It's kind of potato shaped. <laughs> That's probably the worst one yet. OK. Um, Eek. I mean, the fact that it's going through that, oh dear. Oh, I just feel like I'm making it worse and worse. Right, anyway, that's three, okay? We know that it's got, uh, it's going through the origin, so that's going to have to be six. Um, uh, was it root 34? Oh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to worry too much about anything else. I mean, that's 10, isn't it? Okay. So, we want the outside because it's greater than or equal to root 34. So, you want to shade everything that's outside the circle like that. Okay? Don't go scribbling. Use the same shading technique that I've used in these videos. Okay? In this video. Um, otherwise, it's going to look incredibly messy. Um, and the examiner won't be able to interpret it correctly.